Hello and welcome back everybody. So today we're going to be looking at another Thermal Grizzly Thermal Solution. Uh, this one is going to be the uh, Thermal Grizzly Conductant Out. Now I have not seen much information about this Thermal Solution on the net so I thought I'd bring you guys a quick look at what this product is all about. Uh, so let's jump right into it first of all I like to point out that this is a liquid metal a liquid metal solution and like liquid ultra this is based on gallium which destroys aluminum on contact so do not use this on on a heat sink uh, with an aluminum base uh, now copper or nickel plated copper surfaces are perfectly fine uh, they're perfectly safe so you're good there um, now um, I like how this thing is packaged. Um, it feels like you know good quality. Uh, you get this little funnel, uh, little tip here where um, that you can use to have control of how much uh, of the liquid liquid metal actually comes out, so you don't make a mess as you're trying to apply um, uh, the liquid metal onto the onto the die. Um, and you also get two of these cotton swabs. Um, I've actually already used the product uh, in another. Um, on another uh, video so I only got one swab le left uh, and you, you also get two um, alcohol pads here you have quick instructions as to how to apply the uh, thermal solution Our uh, lucky test subject is going to be a used HD7870 graphics card, which I picked up online. Um, uh, these cards are known for running very hot, so this is the perfect candidate for this test. Uh, we're also going to be using Extreme Cool 360 thermal pads over the VRAM for better thermal conductivity. Uh, these are going to be the 1.5 millimeter pads which uh, provide excellent thermal performance over the, uh, the stock thermal pads. After running the Valley Benchmark for over 20 minutes, we see the car temperatures reach 85 degrees. Uh, at one point, it even reached 86 degrees and it throttled back down to 85. So let's go ahead and take this thing apart and see what we can do about these temperatures.
Well, as you guys can see, the temperatures drop significantly from 85 you know, to 86 degrees to 79 to 80 degrees. That's around 5 to 6 degrees uh, lower temperatures. Not only does this mean that the graphics card is going to be running cool uh, or cooler, but it also helps when overclocking and also um, with the um, uh, turbo boost, uh, depending which car you have, of course. I bumped up the speed from the stock 1000 megahertz on the core to 1110 megahertz and it was stable uh, while keeping the temperatures cool as well. So would I recommend Thermo Grizzly conducting out? The answer is yes, absolutely. Uh, but keep this in mind that this, is, this stuff is electrically conductive and if you apply this incorrectly it could permanently damage your hardware so new guys beware anyway this is all I got for now guys uh, don't forget to hit like if you liked the the video if you enjoyed it uh, also don't forget to subscribe for more techie content uh, content coming up so i'll see you guys soon and take care